Hi everyone. So recently, a new chamber was discovered in this famous Sphinx in the Giza Plateau in Egypt. You know, the one of the famous megalithic structures, like along with the Great Pyramid there that probably everyone knows about. This is so amazing to me because as far as I know, it's been around a hundred years since a new part of it was discovered. Archaeologists thought that they'd discovered every section of it, but obviously they hadn't. There are endless mysteries to be found in ancient megalithic structures. A new type of technology called muon radiography was used to find this chamber. It uses cosmic rays to detect empty cavities in major structures. So that's why archaeologists uh, thought that they had found all sections of it, but they actually hadn't because they didn't have the right technology. For amateurs like me, who don't know what the fuck muons are, muons are a natural dribble of subatomic particles. So they get flung off when cosmic rays collide with the Earth's upper atmosphere. Since such a small amount of these subatomic particles are left over, they lose enough energy to be detected, but not enough to be absorbed into the object. So it's just above the threshold where they can detect the energy, but not quite enough that it can be detected, absorbed into the object, rather. So it's the perfect amount for archaeologists or scientists to be able to detect it. Archaeologists have not yet physically excavated the chamber, so no one knows whether the 100-foot-long empty space is slanted or horizontal. It also could be either several smaller structures or it could be one larger one. Archaeologists don't really know much at all about the details yet because they're just relying on what they've learned from the muon radiography. Ancient monolithic structures in general are phenomenally fascinating, particularly those in Egypt like the famous Great Pyramid and the Sphinx. A lot of people probably know that millions of blocks are in the Great Pyramid and were fit together so precisely that you can't even fit a razor blade in between them. There's such amazing feats of architecture that there are many captivating theories about how they were built. But no one knows for sure. Archaeologists don't even agree on how old these monoliths are. The mainstream view seems to be that they are around 3,000 to 4,500 years old, but people like Graham Hancock, John Anthony West, and Robert Schock make convincing arguments that the monolithic structures on the Giza Plateau are actually anywhere from 7,000 to even up to 36,000 years old. So think about how fucking amazing that is, historically speaking, if they're at least 7,000 years old. If you go with the most conservative estimate rather than 3,000, that's 4,000 years older, right? And it could be a hell of a lot more than that. So this is based on factors like extreme water erosion on the Sphinx. And Robert Schock figured this out, who's a geologist at, I don't remember which university, but one of, the, one of those quote-unquote prestigious ones. So he's a well-respected geologist, so he knows what he's fucking talking about. And so Schock basically figured out that the water erosion on the Sphinx is, Sphinx is so extreme that it had to have happened when Egypt was a rainforest rather than a desert like it is today because it had to have experienced had, had to have had the right uh, climate to be able to have experienced that level of rainfall because you don't get that level of rainfall in the desert that is indicative of the water erosion on the Sphinx. The topography around that area was insufficient for that type of weather uh, since at least 7,000 years ago. So it almost has... So I'm not an archaeologist, and I'm not an expert, and I don't know objectively, but it seems to my amateur uh, understanding that the Sphinx has to be at least 7,000 years old. I've been pretty convinced by people like Robert Schock and mainly Graham Hancock's 
famous book, Fingerprints of the Gods, supported by people like Robert Schock and also John Anthony West, who's kind of an amateur but extremely knowledgeable Egyptologist who has this amazing multi-part documentary on ancient Egypt and monolithic structures called Magical Egypt. Check that out if you're interested in this sort of thing. This kind of, so this kind of evidence, like the water erosion on the Sphinx, leads people like Graham Hancock to conclude that an extinct advanced civilization built the pyramids and other structures. Who knows? I'm not an archaeologist, but it's an exciting theory for sure. I mean, skeptics uh, argue that basically it's simpler to assume that hunter-gatherers were just more advanced than archaeologists originally thought that they were. That is a more simple explanation than inserting an advanced lost ancient civilization and it's not like it's not like an alien ancient alien theory that some people talk about although Hancock has implied at least before that an ancient civilization like people from Atlantis might have actually been the people who built the pyramids but either way, it's just fascinating to think about whether an advanced civilization built them, or their hunter-gatherers more advanced than we thought, or what happened. It's so fascinating to ponder what will be revealed in this new hidden chamber in the Sphinx. There are many possibilities, and only time will tell us what wondrous mysteries are contained within. It just adds to the engrossing puzzle of ancient Egypt. We may never know the full story, but archaeologists find more pieces the more they and the more they do, the closer we'll get to uncovering the details of the enthralling narrative of a long ago romanticized period of history. The journey is what's exciting. But who knows? Maybe someday archaeologists will find out about what really happened in ancient Egypt. It'd be so fascinating to find that out. And maybe they'll find out who built these amazing monuments and how they accomplished it because it's, so, it's such an amazing architectural feat that it can't even be replicated today as far as I understand. And so to me that means that ancient people had much more advanced uh, abilities than we than we think they do and technology not in the modern sense but just like tools like they had an advanced uh, maybe they had an advanced understanding of geometry and geology and they could use these methods because there are all sorts of theory fascinating theories that you can look up for how they built the pyramids but no one knows for sure which to me is really exciting all right so thanks to everyone for watching this and as always thanks so much to everyone for supporting me on patreon it really means a lot to me and i would love it if more of you decide to support me on there you don't even know you have no idea how much i appreciate that i'll add the link for my patreon page in the description for this video you can help me get closer to achieving my dreams and allow me to have more time to make more videos about fascinating topics like this. I love you all, and adios until next time. Keep being the light that shines through the impenetrable darkness in the world.